So I work in the area of uh, back pain. Chronic back pain is one of the most uh, important causes of disability in Canada and worldwide. The disease is specifically called ankylosing spondylitis. And my interest is to identify novel molecules and novel treatment modalities that can help patients with arthritis of the back. So the spondylar arthritis is actually one of the most common rheumatic diseases affecting the spine, joint, eyes, skin, and the gut. The inflammation basically started with the spine and the sacroiliac iliac joint, which is a joint below the spine. If the inflammation uh, is not very controlled, patients also develop the new bone formation in the spine, which uh, significantly limits the patient's mobility and also induces a lot of pain. There is no treatment that directly improves that condition. So we started studying this molecule called MIF. MIF stands for Macrophage Migration Inhibitory Factor. And what was most interesting about MIF is that it not only drives inflammation, but it also can drive bone formation and spinal fusion. So suddenly for the first time, we came across this molecule that can explain both features of ankylosing spondylitis. So MIF could be the new treatment and the potential treatment target for uh, decreasing both inflammation and a new bone formation. The difficult part in our study was to prove the mechanism of MIF, how MIF is involved in the pathogenesis or disease mechanisms of uh, spondylar arthritis. So we thought, you know, this has never been targeted as a form of treatment for ankylosing spondylitis. We thought, you know, is it possible that this molecule plays a role in patients with ankylosing spondylitis? Could it be mediating the pain, inflammation, and could it be either a predictor of progression or could it be in fact a target that we can we can use for treatment in ankylosing spondylitis that really you know kicked started all our experiments in this area so MIF is an upstream molecule which activates the downstream inflammatory molecule the uh, level of MIF was elevated in human spinal tissues obtained from spondylar arthritis patients compared to other uh, diseases uh, we confirmed that MIF is very important cytokine or molecule in the spondylar arthritis. The MIF gene is known to be quite uh, variable between populations and also between individuals within the population. So the level of MIF in the, that is produced in the body can be determined by the genetic uh, and the makeup of the individual. So by studying the genetic makeup ahead of time, you could predict, first of all, will they respond to MIF? How much MIF are they going to produce? What could be the downstream chronic effects of MIF in this, in this patient. So these can be predicted ahead of time. So uh, collaboration was a uh, super important uh, part in our study. So uh, we collaborated not only across Canada, but also internationally, we have lots of collaborators there. So we collaborated with uh, South Korea, uh, uh, who gave us uh, human tissues to test the effect, uh, to express on MIF in human spinal tissue. And then we also collaborated with Italian group who gave us the gut tissue of spondylar arthritis patient. So the next step uh, to take this, this story forward would be to bring this to patients with ankylosing spondylitis. And most important for that would be to have a molecule that can be used in, in patients with AS. And for these, again, collaborations are necessary. Uh, we have a, an ongoing collaboration with Dr. Mark Reed, the medicinal chemist uh, here in, at Crimble Discovery Tower. We have also uh, discussions ongoing with some uh, pharmaceutical companies. Uh, some of them already have uh, molecules that target this pathway, so we could easily uh, access them and do a clinical trial with them. The most exciting thing is we could have a new treatment for the devastating disease. So if the uh, clinical trial was, uh, is successful, uh, definitely we have uh, one new option, treatment options for spondylar arthritis patients. So that would be very exciting, uh, uh, not only for us, but also a spondylar arthritis patient and their families.